Scarlet Sensation Teague Bairn would be wise to examine the cases of Robin Copeland and, to a lesser degree, Tommy Bow as he ponders over his future in Welsh rugby. Former Ireland under-20 international Bairn was a revelation as the West Walians ran their way to the Guinness PRO 12 title last season. The 25-year-old produced an outstanding display against his former employer Leinster in Scarlet's semi-final win at the RDs and scored a try in the thumping final victory over Munster at Dublin's Aviva Stadium. Teague Ben enjoys the victory after a stunning season for the region image Hugh Evans' picture agency Not surprisingly, those performances have awakened the interest of the Irish, the very nation which had seemingly written him off just 12 months ago. If the Scarlets hadn't offered the Lockhart back row forward a lifeline, Ben's career as a professional rugby player may well have been over. Now the Irish reportedly want to capitalise on the outstanding work coaches Wayne Pivick, Joanne Cunningham, Stephen Jones and Byron Haywood have done with the county Kildare man at the Scarlets by luring him home with Munster being touted as his destination next summer. Of course, they're dangling the carrot that playing for one of the country's provinces would improve his chances of being capped by Ireland at full international level. That was the tactic used by Emerald Isle power brokers and Munster to persuade back row forward Copeland to return home three years ago. Copeland was another Leinster Academy product who had failed to make it in Ireland and had stints with English clubs Plymouth Albion and Rotherham Titans before being picked up by Cardiff Blues in 2012. Robin Copland of Cardiff Blues on the rampage against Toulon he became a smash hit during his two seasons at the Arms Park, starring in a famous backs to the Wall European Cup triumph over then champions Toulon. But Copland, who will be 30 in October, has made just 47 appearances for Munster in his three seasons and was reduced to lifting the British and Irish Cup with second string Munster A last term. An Ireland cap came his way, against Georgia in November 2014, but that's it. James Hook left Tommy Bow Middle and Lee Byrne of Ospreys celebrate with the Magnus League trophy in 2010. Yes, HES had some injuries, but you have to say HES made much less of an impact in Limerick and Cork than he did in the Welsh capital. Ditto Bow when he was with the Ospreys. He joined them in 2008 as an established international but the best years of his career occurred while he was at the Liberty Stadium. Six Nations Glory, Alliance Test Place, Celtic League and anglo Welsh Cup titles all came and he piled up 36 tries in 77 outings for the so-called Galacticos during his four seasons in self-styled Australia. Tommy Bow of Ireland leaves the field with an injury since heading back to Belfast in 2012. Bow has appeared just 59 times in five campaigns for Ulster, hardly a healthy return for Northern Ireland's flagship team. Both cases show the grass ISNT always greener the other side of the fence. It's ultimately down to Ben the direction in which he wants to proceed but, to my way of thinking, staying at Park Y Scarlets can only benefit him as a player. Far better to remain a big fish in a small pond than become a small fish in a big pond and for him to sign a deal to extend his time with the upwardly mobile Scarlets. Heck, Ben would even qualify for Wales in two years. Food for thought.